Hey friend, and welcome back to RGD Gaming, the least toxic and most fun community in all gaming. If you've ever been hard stuck at a certain rank or certain amount of marks, today's video is going to be for you. I'll teach you how to hit your next rank or get more marks than you did last season. I'll talk about how I peaked at 28 marks last season, and this season so far I've already hit 32 and increased my win rate by 2% from 51 to 53% with just this one simple change that I made. You can see right now that we are in the champion select phase and what am I doing? Well, first off I was banning Ziri because um, this was a few days ago but the second thing that I'm doing is I see that my support is talking about what champion that he wants me to pick. So he says Kate, I let him know I'm not great with Kate and he says Lucian Nami which is another combo and so I know that this support is probably good I guess I don't know that for sure but I'm assuming they're probably good they have at least a handful of champions that they can play with and they're looking to do some sort of a combo that works well together so I had misfortune pre-picked she is my main I will pick her if I don't know what's going on in a match um, but what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna realize that my support wants to do something where they pick a champion that goes with it with the other one and so I switch over to Jinx and what happens exactly what I was thinking in the moment they switch over to Lulu uh, Jinx Lulu is a great combo if you can if you're an ADC and you can find a Lulu or you're a Lulu and you can find a Jinx that can play that I don't want to say you can play that into almost any matchup but the combination is very tough to deal with you can play very safe early and then when you want you can step up and engage the enemy and it makes it very hard for the enemy to be able to play against you because Lulu can always protect you they can use their ultimate to save you and then they can also give you the bonus um, the, the bonuses as well that Lulu does to help you out when you need it so it's a really great combo you can see right now I'm just checking what the top three players are playing I'm just looking at their builds I tend to like Stormraiser um, and then into, I think it's Runin's Hurricane second. I'm not the greatest at locking on champions, it's something I've been working on for about a season and a half now, so you'll see me doing a little bit more, um, but Runin's Hurricane makes up for that because it shoots three targets, so worst case scenario I can hit three people at once, but um, it's just sort of a bad habit that I have. Now. We're in the loading screen. We see that we have a diamond jungle, so we're going to be aware of that and hope that they play above their rank, uh, but that's okay. I'm not going to think too much of that. Um, I actually played with an Ezreal today that was diamond in a Grandmaster game that we were all ranked, I think it was four or 5,000 and above, and he was a diamond, and I supported him, and he did great. Uh, I, I don't think he was MVP, but I think he was the second best uh, person in the match. And it turned out that you can't just always judge a book by its cups. And so starting off the match, just taking another peek at my build. We're going to get to lane and let's see what we have going on here. So what am I thinking here? I am thinking that I got to play safe. I don't want to get in too deep or too far. I almost always pop in this bush. That way I can do this and kill that cam. You wouldn't believe how regularly this happens. Um, I've been doing it at Master and Grandmaster, and it's quite a regular thing. Especially if you have somebody like Fresh coming. They'll almost put a, always put a cam there, so that way they can hook you. And so we've got Lulu also playing safe and playing generally behind me. And we just don't want to get poked by Soraka, so that's okay. So we back off, we let the wave come in, we don't get hit by um, Kate's abilities, and like I said, we're just looking to play a little bit safe here initially. We will get in the poke on Kate, so that's good. Farming up my waves, and I'm trying to poke with my second ability, but I don't need to do anything too crazy. And, oh, missed the minion, that's alright. So I could decide to just let me hit her. And one thing that I'm also thinking about as Jinx, I'm trying to conserve mana in case I have to switch from uh, minigun to rockets, like I did there, to get those two minions at once. And also it gives me a little bit of range. So as a Jinx player, you'll want to do a couple of things. 
you want to be extra aware of what's going on on the map, as you can see right now. So I'm rotating because we have a fight breaking out, and I want to be the first one there. So as a Jinx, you always want to be looking at the map and be aware of what's going on. The main reason I was actually saying that was because of her rocket that she has. And so I'm throwing choppers to hold them, and I need to get out of there because I was in way too deep. And I'm just trying to get some poke on them. Kate's able to get the first blood, so that's not good. And Kate's coming in deep here. Let's see if we can live this. And nice. Lou gets the kill. I'm able to live. So that's really good. And I just want to reset. Oh, geez, they're still fighting there. Lou is fighting Morgana. And... Ramus is trying to get in there. If he can get a taunt. Oh, looks like he did. He was able to taunt Soraka. Gets another kill. Okay, so we've got a Ramus that is doing okay so far. And what I was saying about watching the map. So, literally this applies to every champion, but even more so when you're a Jinx player. Because you can fire your rocket across the map. And you want to be able to do that and get extra kills. And if you've watched my other Jinx video, I said that, and I'll probably say it in every single one. You always want to be watching the map. You want to get those free kills and the additional gold. It's huge on Jinx. She is a late game champion, and so the sooner you can get to the late game, the better. And they're putting pressure on us, but that's okay. And you also saw how I was watching the map. I was able to rotate. That fight broke out, and we came out three kills to one so that worked out great as well i don't know if you saw there my hesitancy to step into the ability it's just like my natural inclination inclination is to dodge abilities when they come out and so when uh, lulu put that out i sort of stepped away at first and ramus is actually pinging that he's rotating to bot so we need to be aware of that and not do anything too crazy and he pings again so this diamond player probably won't be in diamond too long if he's rotating this well pinging and he didn't get the kill and so now lulu is thinking that they want me to engage i don't like engaging into a big wave but i put the choppers up and i see vex is coming and so we're able to get some good pressure on them and we get a kill i fire a rocket and let's see if we can get kate So it was a good job by Kate to evade that. I mean, that was a lot of pressure and a lot of damage. And so now we should get some damage on this turret. We've got a little bit of time. Sorak is still coming. I do have enough gold for my first item, and so I should be aware of that. So if we just power farm this wave here, and then we can reset. And then we got Dragon spawning in 25 seconds, so we always want to be aware of that. And at that fight, especially as an ADC, I. It's quite often that you see somebody clearing their wave instead of fighting for dragon with their team. And just never do that. Just always be at the objective, no matter what. Lose the lose the wave. It doesn't matter. Because if you win a team fight and get the objective, you can go back and clear another wave. And so I see Ramus is making a beeline over there. And I'm going with him. And so I actually was going to focus the dragon there, but he wants to do this first so that's okay so now we've got fight breaking out let's see if we can get a kill and we're able to so that's a good start and now i kind of would want to peel put a can there and then hopefully just take dragon but i get rooted like a noob and now i've got morgana engaging on me that's no good so i gotta back off uh, but Ramus gets a kill, and now we've got Mundo coming after us, and let's see if we can get a kill on him. And we need to kill him. And now we should just take Dragon. After you get a couple of kills, you should really just start focusing on focusing Dragon. And take that, so that way you get the objective, and not just like run off and go after fights. That happens quite regularly as well. People just get sidetracked with fighting instead of taking the objective. Take the objective and run, or take take the objective and then fight. Um, it's way more important for me to get dragons as Jinx than it is going to be for me to win a fight and be 2-0-4 rather than 1-0-4. So now I'm looking at what's going on, trying to get to Lulu. And 
see what we got here. I'm thinking. So we got a fight breaking out at Rift Herald. One of us goes down. I don't know if X is probably not going to do anything. Ramus is dead. Just get out of there. Now I'm just trying to put some poke on these guys. They want to reset, uh, but I just want to delay that as long as possible. And so that way we can either have a good fight. Oh, and I'm getting some good poke on them. So if you see that your enemy is trying to reset under turret, you want to poke them and slow that down. Don't, don't get baited, but... At the same time, you want to slow them down and now have them stuck there so we can put some damage on the turret. And I should have switched the minigun sooner. And now Vex comes in. And so, let's see. I'm going to fire a rocket. And I need to get out of there. And I go down. So that was unfortunate, uh, but we do end up getting another kill. 2, 1, and 4. And I, I pro what I probably should have did there was focus the turret get that, get the attack speed from the turret, and then go after them. Uh, or possibly back off, because we're getting rotated. Let's see if Camille can get the kill. Looks like she's going to ult on Mundo. And... And there's Lulu, making fun of me. <laughs> that I play like a support. Um, and that's okay. Alright, we're going to go back to top. And let's see if we can get this turret. Alright. So Kate's getting low here. We should be able to get this. Or, Kate's getting low. Put the turret very low. And so we get the turret, and then we throw the choppers so Kate can't get out of there. And we get that, and then Soraka comes out of nowhere, and we're able to get that kill. And let's see what we can do against Morgana. Oh, and then we get all rocket on the down, and now we gotta get out of there. It's coming after us. So, that was a great series of events. Took the turret, got the kill on Kate. Also, something that I see a lot of people do with their um, choppers, excuse me, is they throw the choppers too much and too often. I use the choppers in two situations. You just saw one there where I throw it behind somebody, so that way they're trapped and I can kill them, and then I use them to stop them. I see people just in the middle of the lane throw the choppers, like, for no reason. And Lulu says, finally, thank you. You're welcome, Lulu. That's no problem. Uh, I felt comfortable that we could get the kill there. Um, see, and I'll say this. So, I don't play a ton of Jinx anymore, um, but this person obviously understands Lulu as a champion and the combination of Lulu and Jinx probably better than I do. In fact, definitely better than I do, because I'm guessing that if they understand when to engage and what they can do to keep me alive that they definitely do because I you know I just wasn't sure what you know how to engage. They see me throw the choppers, Soraka, they all and I get a double kill. So this is going perfectly. This is exactly what we want to happen. And that's Soraka actually that's the second time they you know were way out of position. Um, I they probably didn't expect us to cut that way. Um, but at the same time, they died just two minutes, you know, a minute before that, doing something similar. So they got to be a little bit more aware of the map. And you'll see me by ruins here. Am I gonna? Yeah, ruins. Um, so that way, I can switch to rockets and a team bite and really blow the enemy team up. Um, so that is not a good spot to be in. Let's see if I can get out of there. Oh, looks like they are going to do this. So I'm going to clear this wave. So we've got Rift Herald spawning in 6 seconds. And we've got Dragon in 15 seconds. And I should have just went to Rift Herald here. Put a little damage on the turret. Totally irrelevant amount. Uh, but I'd be way better off helping Ramus with Rift Herald. Let me get this done sooner. Okay. And Camille goes down. And now what I'm hoping is going to happen is we, everybody rotates over to Dragon and see how that goes. But we've got some action. And we get some good cuts on the Kate. And it's like Ramus is going in. I'm in pretty deep and I need to chill. Let's see. There's Yon. 
I would say I dodged that, but I think that Yon was going to miss no matter <laughs> what happened there. And so Ramus goes over to the dragon and starts taking it. So I'm going to help them out. And we need to pull the dragon out if we're going to continue to do this. So that way they can't just hop over the wall. And that's unfortunate that it reset. No, so now I think we're just going for it. And Ramus is able to cure it, so that's good. And now we got to fight for you know, Let's see, so I'm going to switch to rockets and see if we can get a kill. So we get, I get an assist, and then we're able to chase down someone else. And able to get another kill, and now i got to get out of there. So, 8, 1, and 7. And I see that Yona is coming around here, so... I would, so if he was going to go to that turret there, I was going to cut him off and go under turret because we had four of us there and we definitely would have got that kill. And I wasn't afraid to take a couple turret shots in order to get the kill there. And now we got a bunch of gold, so we can clear this wave. And then we'll get a shot in. Actually, we should just kill this. So you'll see, he's not afraid to take a couple shots from the turret. No big deal. And then I drop through Harold, and I'm just trying to hit the turret a few times, so that way we can take it down. But Mundo's there, Kate's there, and now I drop my choppers, so that way they have to go around it. Next, probably use the terrified thing to steer them away. And now we got a reset. Be able to get our third item. We've got two dragons here, so we're feeling really good about this match. Eight, one, and seven, and two dragons, but. Camille was, I think that's the second time Camille was out of position. Maybe it wasn't Camille the last time, but a little deep there for, you know, you're probably not going to get the inhibitor turret in that situation where they all reset and they're all kind of around their base. But that's okay. It's really not a big deal for them to go down. Now setting up some vision, and hopefully we're going to be able to steal the end of the jungle. And we should get some vision on Baron. I guess we kind of have a cannon that push, so that can be okay. This is probably a little dicey. We have four of us here, but we don't know where any of them are, and they're all there. <laughs> okay, so now we're getting engaged on, and a fight's breaking out. And I'm going to back off, so I don't get killed. So I got like, two of them on me. Here's Mundo. We're able to hit him with the choppers. Let's see if we can get him. We do. And fire a rocket, able to get Kate, so that's what I'm saying. Even while we're battling, we need to be able to watch the map and have presence of mind to fire off our rocket. And we're able to get another kill there with our second ability. And so now they're all dead, so what do we do? We need to take something from the enemy. A lot of people, they don't take anything from the enemy when they get kills. And what's the point of fighting? to take objectives, to take enemy turrets, to take enemy jungle. You actually saw me go in there again, take a couple shots to put more damage on the turret because they're all resetting. And here we go again, I don't care about taking a couple turret shots in order to get a kill on a turret. Um, so we win the fight, and then we take three turrets, and that's perfect. Um, you shouldn't just win that fight there and take one turret and reset. You gotta at least, you know, you wanna steal multiple things from them, but don't get too deep. So don't get too carried away with that. You know, that's watching the map as part of that. So if you know that all five of them are dead, you got plenty of time to do something there. Um, especially as Jinx, Jinx, excuse me, when you take turrets, you get that boost of speed, so it's very hard for them to catch you. And then you can also lay your choppers down as well. Um, so 11, 1, and 7, feeling pretty good at this point. Uh, but we do still need to be aware of, yeah, I don't think people understand that we could actually lose this game. Um, we can throw if we make some really bad decisions. And if they take, let's say they take Baron and they play it well and they win a fight, they can end on that. Um, I've done that and I've also been on the receiving end of that as well. So just because we're way ahead doesn't mean we should get careless and make bad decisions. God. So, Ramus is in deep. And let's see if we're going to be able to get a kill. I switch to the rockets. And we do get a kill. We're able to get another one. And another. And let's see if we can chase down Soraka. Fire a rocket and get that. And then it's going in there. Take some shots from their inhibitor turn. And now 
just got Mingo here. He's he's in pretty deep. I mean, I know he's got a shield in his hand, but that was way too deep to go into. And let's see, we should be able to get the end here. And we do. So, what is the tip that I was giving her? I had mentioned. Be flexible with who you pick. I know you have a main, everybody does, but you have to work with your team and plan accordingly and be able to work within you know, what they do. The reason I perform better than 100% of the Jinxes is because I picked a champion that went along with my support. If I would have picked Misfortune, it would not have went the same way, I'm sure of it. Hopefully I see you on the rift. Thanks for listening. GG's.